What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Kevin with Optimized Essentials, and in today's video, we're going to be discussing the law of vibration, the secret to manifestation, okay? Now, there's tons of people out there who talk about law of attraction, new age techniques of thinking, feeling, and attracting things into your life. And then there's also people who, you know, believe in the mysterious magic of, you know, just poof, making things happen just by pure mental thoughts alone, right? I'm here to tell you, although that may potentially exist to an extreme or to a certain degree, a lot of it actually boils down to your vibrational frequency. What do I mean by this? Because there's a lot of misconception, there's a lot of misunderstanding, there's a lot of people who believe that just by thinking and feeling, you'll manifest a certain outcome. That's simply not true, guys, I'm sorry to say, it, because how many times have you thought and felt as if, but your life still is like shit, right? You have no money, you have you know no dreams manifested, and you know things just aren't the way you suppose it to be. That's the reason, the reason why this is the case is because you probably haven't really taken action towards achieving what you have visualized, right? Even though you think and you feel and you set yourself in the vibration, if you don't take action while you're in that vibration, you won't set up the action potential that attracts that event into your life. Meaning a lot of people just think and feel, but they don't act. And in today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about the law of vibration why that is the secret or the true essential prerequisite in order for you to attract things into your life. Because thinking and feeling sets up the vibration which then influences your body to act, right? The reason why I made this video today is because I was inspired to take action. And what does it mean to feel inspired to take action? Well, that's the first thing I'm gonna be sharing with you. We're gonna be talking about six things, but the first thing is your vibrational state is essentially your emotional state, right? Your emotional state is, in other words, your physiology. The vibration that your body is in, oh, see my shirt, by the way, wake the fuck up. <laughs> it's a response to the whole COVID bullshit going on right now. But anyways, more on that later. The vibration that your body is in influences the actions that you take and thus the results that you get right? You think, you feel, you don't necessarily attract until you what? Act, okay? Now, are there some instances maybe beyond my ability to articulate where your thought waves send out energy and then you attract something back? In my experience, the only thing you really attract back is more thoughts or more feelings. But until you act on your vibration, right? The law of vibration states that everything vibrates because we're conscious beings. We can think and feel and influence our body to act, right? I had a thought and a feeling about creating a video and it resonated in my body. So now I'm creating a video, okay? So that's the first thing I wanted to talk about. The second thing I want to talk about is a way you can see where your vibration is at. A common example is Number one, your mood, right? How are you feeling? If you're feeling good, you're in a high state of vibration. That's why the emotional guidance scale, which I'll probably put a picture up, there are different levels of vibration, emotions. Certain vibrations resonate at a higher frequency. Certain vibrations, emotions, resonate at a lower frequency. That's why fear, you feel constricted. When you're stressed, you feel constricted. When you feel you know, tense, tight, worry, worrisome, and just full of negative emotions, anxiety, depression, stress, I mentioned all that, that's a contracted state of emotion. When you feel love and beyond, you feel joyful, bliss, because you've done good things to your body, you've ingested good food, right? You've uh, moved your body. Now you're in a higher vibrational state. And when you're in a higher vibrational state, when you're feeling love, when you're feeling inspired, what happens when you take action? Well, when you take action based on love, that ripples out. When you take action based on inspiration, spirit, right? Inspiration. When you take action based on a, an idea that you feel inspired to create and you constantly inspire yourself, right? In spirit, when you constantly inspire yourself by consuming information that resonates, when you, when you take in things that cause you to vibrate higher than what happens to your physiology. Your physiology amplifies in the rate of vibration and because of that, 
you decide to take more action. And the more action you take, the better results you get. The better results you get, the more feedback, the higher your vibration, and it's an upward spiral. So the upward spiral of positive emotions or the downward spiral of negative emotions. You're always fluctuating between the two. The idea behind manifesting long-term is to raise your vibration, raise your consciousness to a high enough level where you can manifest on those levels of frequencies, on those vibrational frequencies. Because if you're constantly in a state of fear, you're constantly in a, fear, a state of stress, you're constantly in a state of worry, self-doubt, self-sabotage, how the hell do you think you can manifest? It's very difficult to manifest. That's why if you're doing things like eating junk food, eating shit food, that is going to influence your vibrational frequency and you won't be able to manifest when you're in a low state of vibration. And to recap on number two, a way you can see your, your vibrational frequency play out is in your handwriting, right? Some days you're in a better mood, you're in a more coherent mood, and you're more organized, right? You, you start to clean up your room, you start to uh, pick things up, you start to clean your dishes, and you're in a better state of vibration. You're in a higher rate of vibration, which organizes. There's more order and less chaos. Lower vibration is chaos. Uh, what, what was the law of entropy? Everything starts to you know, get chaotic. Well, when you're in a high state of vibration, things begin to line up in order and you begin to attract things because you're vibrating higher. And you can see that in your handwriting. You can see that in the way you show up to people. You can see that in the way you express yourself, right? So that is why vibration is so important when it comes down to manifestation. That's why some days you feel really elevated and you're like, yeah, let's get this business. Let's do this. And then some days you're like, what happened to all my motivation, man? I mean, that's just a part of life and a part of manifesting is just doing it regardless of how you feel. Cause if you've heard amateurs wait until they feel like it to do the work and professionals do the work to feel like it, right? So if you really wanna manifest, you gotta do the work no matter whether or not you feel like it or not. But one, one key aspect of manifestation is controlling your emotional state and manifesting from that state so that you get even better results, okay? So that's number two. Number three, ingesting vibration, okay? Now I want you to think of ingesting vibration in terms of not just food, but anything that you consume through your senses, okay? Anything you see, hear, taste, smell, and touch. Anytime you ingest something, whether it be food, that's gonna influence your vibrational state. If you eat junk food, that's gonna feel very different than eating alkalizing, super greens, vegetable smoothie, raw fruits, raw vegetables, uh, you know, raw nuts, sprouted grains, sprouted vegetables, or uh, fermented vegetables, all of these are going to raise your vibration. When you eat processed junk, dead food that inflames your gut and causes you to expend more of your energy, your life force energy to process that food, now you're lowering your vibration to digest that food as opposed to eating something that amplifies your vibration, okay? So food is one form. Or you're constantly watching things on YouTube that what? Stimulate your mind and produce either fear, anxiety, worry, or you're just watching mindless activities, mindless things that don't amplify your energy, right? What do you get out of, you know, watching stupid stuff online? You might get a giggle here and there, but you didn't actually multiply your energy. Meaning the time you spent watching this video, you don't amplify your vibration other than, oh yeah, I feel happy and joyful for a second, but you're distracting yourself. If you're watching things or you're consuming things, you're watching news and that's causing you to really like, oh, this world sucks. I can't believe he did that. You know, our president sucks or, you know, this and that. That's lowering your vibration. Why are you consuming this? Why are you watching the news? Why are you consuming things that don't help you move move you in the direction of your dreams. If you have a problem breaking free from this cycle, chances are you don't have a passion or purpose in life. Chances are you have old programming inside of your mind that's preventing you from moving forward and you're just stuck in a low level of vibration, okay? So those are ingesting things to your senses. And number four, now let's talk about, you know, how people alter their vibration. How do people change their state? Why do people do drugs, right? Why do people smoke weed? Why do people drink alcohol? A lot of these behaviors are a way to meet needs, right? A lot of people have been traumatized in the past. We have emotional needs, right? If you look up Tony Robbins, Six Human Needs, right? The different needs, if you look at Maslow hierarchies of need, we have needs 
like as human beings that we need to fulfill, right? We need to feel fulfilled either from love and connection, receiving love and connection from others. We need to feel like we're, we're significant, we're respected, that we have some sort of connection to a tribe. We want to feel like people appreciate what we do. We want people to recognize who we are. We want people to see us for who we truly are. And we just want to feel appreciated and loved, right? There are certain needs that our psyche as a human being needs in order to be fulfilled. The same way our body needs certain vitamins and minerals and micronutrients. Otherwise, we become nutrient deficient and develop all kinds of physical problems. Our psyche needs these emotional needs or it has needs that needs to be fulfilled. And we're, when we're not meeting this, we tend to do it through drugs, right? We tend to change our state through alcohol, you know, pot again, and then just like psychoactive drugs. We seek novelty in these, you know, forms of behaviors because they promise us a change in vibration. And no matter how shitty it feels afterwards, because we know we get that small hit of Oh, I feel good, right? We're willing to make that sacrifice than being in the sober world of, man, my life sucks. I, you know, I just hate it and this and that. Drugs, alcohol, substances, food. It's a way to meet our needs, to feel good in that very moment, even at the expense of whatever it means after that, okay? So people try to change their vibration, but unknowingly, when you drink, right? Although you feel good in a certain sense, Think about what that does to your vibration and thus your actions. If you drink too much, you may have liquid courage and you might say and do things that may feel congruent at the time of drinking, but when you look back on it, you're like completely bleh. And then when you're high on marijuana and you're acting and thinking in certain ways, how is, that, how is the vibration of marijuana influencing your actions? How is the vibration of alcohol influencing your actions? How is the vibration of processed food influencing your vibration and thus your actions, right? How does hallucinogens influence your vibration and thus your actions? So everything that you consume through your senses will influence your, your vibration, which then influences your results, or it will influence the type of thoughts, emotions, feelings that you get, which then influences your vibration and your actions. You see what I'm saying? So vibration is key when it comes to manifesting because when you're doing things that lower your vibration, you're gonna get vib results that match with that vibration. When you're doing things that enhance your vibration and you take action at an elevated level of vibration, you then produce results on that level of vibration, right? Me talking to you about this stuff when I'm in a certain state of vibration, now it's rubbing off to you, okay? Which talks to, which is number five, which flows perfectly into entraining vibration. Because I'm speaking to you at a certain rate of vibration and you're taking this information in, you're in training, right? We're resonating, law of resonance. We're in training, right? My energy and your energy, they're coming together and they're vibrating, right, together. Now you are potentially seeing things from a new perspective and you're vibrating at that level of frequency because I'm giving you knowledge that is helping the synapses in your brain bloop, 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 make new connections so that you begin to see the world from a different perspective, right? That's why people have breakthroughs, which leads me to number six, inspired action, right? You have a breakthrough, right? What does that mean? A breakthrough, in my opinion, opinion, is basically when you have formed new neurological connections, new neural networks in your brain, right? You, me sharing you certain knowledge helps you make that connection within your life to the different events. And now you have a breakthrough because you formed new synapses in your brain. And then from that point on, you take new action, inspired action that will generate more and more breakthroughs. And something I learned about breakthroughs and inspired action, it's a lot like lifting weights, right? You feel really good. You're like, oh man, whoa, whoa, mind blown. Breakthrough, whoa, right? That's like, ooh, really sore. That was a really good workout. That was, ooh, ooh, really good workout. And then guess what? You try to repeat that workout again and it's like, I'm not sore, man. Same thing with breakthroughs. You're gonna have breakthroughs upon breakthroughs upon breakthroughs upon breakthroughs, but until you consistently take action according to what? What, guys? You should know by now, your vibrational state, you will not manifest 
the life that you're looking for. And it took me so long to understand, to get past that thinking and feeling, feeling bullshit because I mean, it, it, it matters, but vibrational frequency is at the core of it because thinking and feeling is one way to influence your vibration. But what happens when you've ingested like 10 pounds of turkey for Thanksgiving or you've eaten like, you know, a ton of junk food and it's just rotting in your gut and you have like food poisoning, you're like, oh, try thinking and feeling your way out of that, bro. It doesn't work, right? That's why vibrational frequency, controlling your vibration through the foods that you eat, through the things that you think, through the things that you do, through the things that you read, things that you see, things that you engage in, the people that you're surrounded with, all of this is gonna influence your dominant vibration, which then influences the actions you take and thus the results you get. Now, with all that being said, guys, if you're a man watching this, I want you to check out my sexual manifestation program. That teaches you how to harness your sexual energy, right? Allow that vibration in your body, that sexual energy, to build up and permeate every cell of your being so that you can take that amplified vibration that you have in your body, that excess life force, jing, chi, prana, ojas, and channel it into something meaningful. The same way I channeled into my program, the same way I'm making these videos, all of this is my abundance of life force energy going to this program. And if you like the free version of the sexual manifestation, meaning if you like the, the understanding of it, then I encourage you to invest in my full program, this, the actual sexual manifestation course, where I teach you the six foundation, the six pillars to supreme sexual energy, where you can amplify your sexual energy even more by fo following the guidelines of you know, healthy lifestyle living so that you can amplify and magnetize your sexual energy. Because when you take action, like me creating this video is a product of my vibrational frequency, right? And depending on how many people watch it, if they decide to buy my program, that means I've created a product that people resonate with and thus I'm exchanging the value. So manifestation isn't magic and ponies and rainbows, no. No, you manifest a certain outcome, and if people resonate with that outcome, they will pay you money for that outcome. And the same way you create a product, a service, something, etc., from your vibrational frequency, people will give you money if you have what it takes. So it's nothing, nothing like magical. I mean, it is, but it isn't, right? It's, it's straightforward. You create, you produce, because of your vibrational frequency and you will get something returned based on what you put out, right? Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, share with people, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.